we'd need to know a lot more about what happened. We don't know, for example, what was being discussed with mm -hmm. the Russian ambassador. Uh, I, once again, I don't understand why a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee is having unilateral discussions with the Russians. Uh, that's, uh, that's a big problem over there in the Senate Armed Services Committee if that kind of thing's going on. And at least you found one senator who's willing to say that she's not doing that. That's right. encouraging. So you are saying at a minimum there is a legitimate basis for wanting to know more. The question is how should that inquiry proceed? What's the proper way to do that? Well, based on what I've, uh, what I've heard thus far, I, I don't think he could continue as Attorney General. I don't think he was truthful with the Senate. He did not provide full and complete information in answer to the You think questions. Sessions should and resign? Critically important. I, based on what I'm hearing thus far, uh, yes, maybe there are other facts out there, but I, I, don't, I don't understand why he did not disclose to that committee the conversations he had with the Russians. And uh, this is not just uh, any old question. This is about a country that has been conducting espionage activities against Americans mm -hmm. throughout 2016, has tr been trying to destabilize our country since the 1920s when they were supporting the Communist Party. And uh, this is serious stuff, uh, what's going on with the Russians. Uh, we've already had one member of our, this uh, administration have to resign for lying about contacts uh, with the Russians. That's Michael Flynn, who lied to the vice president, very clearly lied to the vice president. And now we've got another one who seems to have trouble telling the truth about what he's saying to the Russians. And, and that's just not acceptable.